Hi, this is William. Welcome to Flyspoke. And um, this fly I have in the vise here, uh, this well-used fly, um, it's called a black stone. I used uh, really a go-to fly for me um, fishing on the gas bay for Atlantic salmon. And when you take, uh, put a green wing on it, you wind up with a green stone. And this year's rage on the gas bay, this one is called the Stone Ghost. And basically it's a variation of the bead top fly, grizzly hackle wound around the bead, black squirrel tail over which is a little bit of white marabou, and uh, just that uh, green floss for the body. So I'm going to show you how to tie this fly. Starting off, this is a uh, size 8 low water double. A little bit of chartreuse, 8 off, 8 aught chartreuse thread. And um, just going to wrap that to the back, give myself a base cushion, and then just stop right about there. I've prepared a pin. It's a, one of those. Um, brass pins that you'd use for uh, sewing when you want the sewing machine to go over a seam and you want the pin to hold the seam so it's a uh, it's a very very uh, soft metal and you'll see why you want that soft metal and this I've put the bead on already and there's the head of the pin and I'm gonna lay the bead right touching into the eye of the hook Pull the pin down, make a little bend in it there. You don't want to go too close up. If you can see the distance there I've left, and I'm going to just build up a little taper here behind the end of the pin just to create a uh, good transition. If you just do that, what I've, what I've done there build a ramp. Okay, so I'm going to take my green floss. I'm just going to set it in facing backwards. Come back to the front. Stop right there. Now when I get to the very end, I take this floss and I twist it nice and tight. And I'm twisting the bobbin, make the floss get tight. so that these wraps that I'm going over the end are not going to unravel. And then come back to the front. And tie that off there. There's my floss. Next item. This is a squirrel tail, black squirrel tail. Put it in my stacker. And I'm just going to tie this down right on the back of the floss, right on the top of the floss. Okay, next item, and two strands of some blue holographic crinkle flash. I'm 
trim it to length. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of small amount of white marabou. And that's going to go on top of the blue. Just going to tie this off. Okay. Now, just take whatever I can to. These pins are soft. I can put a fingernail underneath it. And I'm just going to pull this pin up. The thread is holding it down. And pull it straight up in the air. And I'm going to switch my thread to 12 watt black. to the bead and I'm raising the bead up so that the bead is going to sit straight up. Okay, now the bead is up in the air and the next item is a basically it's a dry fly grizzly hack. So, close to underneath the bead and then go underneath it with my thread so that I can continue down the pin down to the hook shank and then wrap my thread onto the hook shank. Trim this and I'm going to take this dry fly hackle and I'm going to wind it moving down the pin towards the hook shank. And then I'm going to tie this off on the hook shank, not the pin. So what you have is you have it spun on, it's a dry fly, fly hackle, it's acting like a parachute, no different than a parachute fly. Some people uh, make them like parachute flies where they don't use the pin though. They'll make a post, just like you would on a dry fly for trout. That's it. There it is.